Hello humans and welcome to Fangirl Friday where I talk about things. Yeah. I haven't done one of these in so long I keep I don't know what to say anymore. Oops. If I was being honest, I'd tell you guys that I'm still in my school shirt under this sweater. But I'll let you think I'm being trendy instead. Hello humans and welcome to Fangirl Friday where I talk about books, movies and other things that I like to fangirl over. Today I am going to be doing the music genre book tag. I was tagged in this tag um, by Ashley Reads 97 She only has like 20 subscribers though, so make sure you go check her out because she does heaps and heaps of book eve related videos and they're really great and would definitely recommend. Um, but this tag she actually made up all by herself and basically she's set seven, nine. She set a number of music genres um, and a kind of a description for each one and you have to choose a book that you've read that matches along with those music genres. So I'm just going to get straight into it because I'm tired and I just want to sleep. The first genre that is in this tag is dubstep and for this it is a book that gets crazy when the plot drops. And for this music genre I chose Fallen by Lauren Kate um, because kind of once everything starts happening, everything starts happening. There's kind of just like la da 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 a pew. <coughs> If you just coordinate your bodily functions with your speaking, you will go places. So I'm obviously going places, like the doctors. The next genre is pop and the description of this is a book that you can read all over again all the time because it's so happy. Uh, the book that I chose for this was the Mismatch series by Erin Mangum. Uh, I read these in my school library. They're beautiful. It's kind of this Christian girl, Laurie, who becomes a matchmaker basically. And she matches up all her friends and she's addicted to chocolate and coffee. So she's basically me and they're just great and I would recommend them to everyone because I love them so much. Like 10 out of 10, all the time, every day. The next genre is rock and the definition for this genre is a book that has a kick-ass group of main characters and for this, how could I go past the Divergent Trilogy? Like you're not going to get any more kick-ass than the Dauntless, let's be honest. There's Triss who's just like, boom, I was a stiff but now I'm like gonna shoot you if you defy me. There's Christina who's just like short hair, pixie cut, you mess with me, I'll mess with you. And then of course there's Four who's just like, he doesn't even try. How could you co-pass Divergent? The next genre is Techno, which is a book that has a futuristic vibe to it. Um, and for this, I really have to say Ugly's by Scott Westerfeld, which is set in the future. So I don't know if that counts, but like you would never mistake it for the present day. It's so futuristic and it has a really great futuristic vibe to it but as you all know I'm just obsessed with the series so it can do no wrong. The next genre of music slash book is classical and it's a book that is set in a historical time period. The book that I have selected for this genre is Just Jane by Nancy Moser. I love this book it's about Jane Austen basically it's kind of a book about her but from her perspective it's obviously fictional because it's not by Jane Austen um, but it kind of just walks you through her everyday life for over a couple of years and it's it's really good, I love it. The next genre is country and that is a contemporary book that has a laid back setting and for that I really have to say Paper Towns by John Green. It's really contemporary, it's set in modern day, um, but the town that they're living in is so laid back that's kind of part of the plot line. It's so laid back that, you know, she has to get away. And the last genre is rap slash hip hop and that is a book that is fast paced and action packed. For this, I really have to say Dangerous by Shannon Hale. I read this beginning of the year, I think. It's in my school library. Um, I read it after I read her book Austin Land, which is like the total opposite. Basically, these five kids go into space um, and they get inhabited by these alien things. And it's just, it's just crazy. It's just intense. People are, things just happen constantly. Like there is no break and it just progresses so quickly. You're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yay, 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 yay. So yeah guys, that is all I have to say for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I am tagging Kitty Cat Go Raw 4 because she's like the only booktuber that I really know um, to do this tag next. But of course, if you're watching this video, I'm officially tagging you as well. Uh, make sure you go check out Ashley Does Not Reads 97. She's pretty cool. Um, of course, she made up this tag, which is amazing. And yeah, that's all I really have to say. I love you all and goodbye. Ba da ba da bo, ba da ba da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the music in me. You heard the words once upon a time. Make you listen. There's no reason.
were singing classical songs and science today and we got told off by our teacher, but you know what? I don't care because I'm that much of a rebel.